Hey everyone, we're here with the weekend sales for our online business. This is my beautiful wife, Linda. We're going to go over the things that sold this weekend. This is weekend. my handsome husband, Karen. Oh, she says these nice things on TV for me. Anyways, uh, we're going to go over what sold in our business to make money here. It was a slower weekend, but some pretty cool items. Some unique stuff here. Definitely a couple things you should keep, out, keep an eye out for. And hopefully uh, tomorrow will again be a better day. Let's get into it. Um, first, or totals. What are the totals? So they... To end the weekend, we had 28 sales across two platforms for just under $8.90. We're close to our goal. Our goal is $300 a day minimum. So we're just a little bit under that. We've been doing pretty well. You know, We usually beat the goal overall at the end of the year. But if we get there, we know we're okay. It's been a weird weekend. Some of my friends who are selling have also said they've had some slower sales this weekend. So maybe it's something in the water. But let's get into it. First, the item on Mercari. This is a vintage He-Man action figure. Um, made in Mexico, I think. Yeah, I, I guess that makes a difference. Because I saw others and they, they made a point to say made in Mexico variant or it's whatever. It's funny, his head is squishy though. Yeah, his head's like a rubber head. But the body and everything is normal plastic. So... His hands are in a little rough shape, but he sold for $28 plus shipping. 28 bucks. He came out of the big vintage action figures we had for a while now. We don't have many left. And the first item. First on item eBay. on eBay. This is a daily Roman missile. Yep. Uh, it's a bonded leather and it comes with the case. Sold for $25. That shipped. is an old listing. It's been up for a minute. Next up, uh, Noah got one of those loot crates and. He didn't like anything in it. <laughs> I think no, he kept like, like one, two, one, two items. things. Yeah, there were two things. She's like, oh, out of cool, like cool. the ten. And my mom actually got it for me. She was very disappointed because they said it was all going to be video game stuff. It was not. And a lot of stuff wasn't. It was like a, was it? It was Golden like a Girls horror. mug. Well, oh yeah, there was a Golden Girls mug. Horror stuff. Horror stuff. It was weird. And they said this was all specifically a video game one, but it wasn't. This is the Shining Journal, yeah. brand new sealed. <laughs> and it sold for $20 shipped. So I think there's a lot of people will buy those and part out the pieces if you get things you didn't want to help pay back. But I guess someone said Loot Crate is now a Vero or whatever. I don't know if that's true. Um, I recommend not putting Loot Crate in the title anymore. Just putting what it is if you want to avoid that. So anyways... Mm -hmm. Next item. Next item, we have this tailor made 320K putter. It is a 33 inch and it sold for $24. Shipped. A little older one, not worth a ton. Um, shipping on this will probably run 10 or 11 bucks UPS. Then, from our local library used bookstore, we have Tom and Jerry Festival of Fun on VHS. And that one sold for 15 and some change. I think 50 cents. So, got that one, figured it'd be worth it, and we got it out here. Then, um, way back when, we sold a bunch of Flavor Aids. We were selling them in like Get five packs of ten, right? Yeah, we, five, we each were selling ten like five of these five bags. Eight, yeah. Um, and we, I found one, and I go, "Oh, hey, there's an extra." He goes, oh, "I can list that." So he did, and we sold it for thirteen dollars. We were selling five for like thirty bucks or twenty-seven bucks or whatever. At the time, there were a couple of competitors on there. We got these with all the writ. Well, if you guys have been following, you know, we sell the writ. I got these when I got the writ. So. I spent 10 bucks on all the flavor. It was a very profitable deal. Then Cameron got some vintage toys. This is a vintage McDonald's. Here's over there. Here's your chair. Vintage McDonald's changeables. So it's, uh, it, well, you didn't show what it starts with. So it starts out looking like a McDonald's item, whether it be a cup, a uh, box, chicken nugget uh, box, a fry fries. box, whatever. And then it turns into a dinosaur. Um, <laughs> and these are from 1990. Like you got to put his tail out too. So, yeah, it took to And we actually dinosaur. had a bunch more of these. These came, these were in a bunch of toys we had, I think. But yeah. um, we sold all the other ones together, and I found one more after I already sold them. We sold it for like 40 bucks. Yeah, and this one sold for almost $8. Just shipped. by himself. I had to list them because he was too cool. But if you bid a whole bunch of these ones, put them together, they will sell. Yeah, they're so weird, though. I've never seen those in my entire life. <laughs> I don't know. I never remember seeing them either. Next up, we have Boardwalk Empire. This is the complete third season, sold for $10 ship. It was a quarter, so I had to pick it up. A lot of DVD series individually don't sell for a lot, but unless there's something you haven't heard of, but this got a, for a quarter. That was an easy one. Then we've got a Nat Nast men's green bowling shirt. Um, this is way old listing. This is when Cameron had these these bags, and he would actually write what it is on a little note it was so cool he doesn't do that anymore too it's a waste enough. of time yeah and it sold for 12 dollars shipped 12 bucks that one just happy to see it go i we're probably not making any profit we might be losing it just to make some a little bit of money back and get it out of here yeah 
Then we've got Hot Tuna, 25 years and running. This is a live uh, DVD and it sold for $12 and some change. For Buckaroos on its way. Then we got a lot of three CDs. These are Michael Schenker. 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 I don't know. The Michael Schenker Group. Um, and though that three pack actually sold for $45 shipped. I got I went to a garage sale, stack of CDs there. And he wanted two bucks a piece, which is a bit much for CDs, really. It, a lot of it was metal stuff. I grabbed the whole stack and he said, how about, uh, I think there were like 12 or 13. He said, how about 20 bucks for all of them? So I paid a little, got a bit of a discount, but we're already in the profits with this one. And I probably have another, you know, 150 bucks in CDs. It was a good deal, but usually paying two bucks a CD is not ideal. No. Then next up we got a vinyl. This is Grateful Dead Bear's Choice. Um, and that one actually sold it's for... It's like a newer one, I think. Yeah, it sold for $50 shipped. Maybe not. Maybe it is. They seem really good. It says 1973. Really? Oh, I thought this was like a reproduction. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. It but might be. It's out of here. Then we have, out of the $700 manual, buy a 2003 Acura MDX manual. And that one sold for $45 shipped. Sold a few of these. Then, um, Karen has all that vintage perfume, the little samples. This one is a vintage KL. It's Carl Lagerfeld. It's women's perfume. It's only about a third ounce. And it, that one actually sold for $44 shipped. Really good deal on that one. Happy it's crazy. It's still got the box. Yeah, most of the time, most small. get crushed. Apparently, this is pretty high-end perfume because even the samples sold for a lot. Yeah. Then we got a vintage men's Timex Indiglo watch. Um, the bro brand is broken, but it sold for $12 and some change. Some old, I don't know how it's not that old, I guess, but it does work. The watch works. There I go. Then we got a pair of BKE jeans. These are the Jake style, um, and they sold for $35 ship. Those are best offer. They're only 5 bucks. BKE men's jeans always end up selling for me. Not a ton of money, but just kind of a solid sale. Um, <laughs> then you have this an old is, toothbrush. Yeah, if you got a really old toothbrush. This is a vintage Sonicare replacement toothbrush head, and it sold for $17. Shit. 96. So you have an old early Philips Sonicare. <laughs> That's Probably. like thick, too. Yeah, back then technology was not as good. Um, and next up, we have a 1936 American Legion 17th Department Convention pen, pin. And that one sold for $34 ship. We sold a lot of these American Legion pins. We made quite a bit of money on them. They were from a big buy from Salvation Army Auction and got a whole bunch of pins and stuff for 30 something bucks. So and that almost paid for it by itself. Nice. Then we have a out of the $700 manual buy, a 2007 Acura RDX manual. And that one sold for $70 ship. That one's a chunk though. For a manual, that one's a lot bigger than the rest. Okay, next up we have a pair of Nike Air Max uh, 270 React. Yep. Um, these are really cool. They have all kinds of colors on them. They got pink and purple and teal yep. and yellow and white. They're pretty cool. Smaller size. Smaller size. They're only uh, five and a half youth, actually. Yeah. Cool. And, but they still sold for $40 shipped. I think I spent five bucks on them. So that was a good deal. Went back and forth with the buyer. Then Karen picked up a bag of Littlest Pet Shop Pet Savers, and we parted them out, and the extras that don't have as much of a high value, we put them all together, and this bag of 12 uh, Little Pets sold for $30. And shipped. the person that bought this is like my toy box, some kind of, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, my toy box something. Yeah, they have bought Littlest Pet Shop from me in the past, and if I have a big lot, they'll make an offer, usually cheaper than what you're listing them for, but they say that's the best they can pay. I'm guessing they resell Willis Pet Shop and they, they buy probably them. probably have them listed. These were listed separately. at 37 and they offered 30 and I was like, yeah, you can have them. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> we already made our money on the Cocker Spaniels and the... The Great Danes. Great Dane, yeah. So I think we have one left, but that was a good deal. Then next up, we got a lot of 75 or more Bakugan Battle Brawler trading cards. Yep. And that set sold for $25 shipped. 25 buckaroos. Then somebody bought three vintage Christmas decoration trophies. Um, they're actually really cool because they have like Santas on them. This one says home decoration contest for 1969, guys. So we have which three, is nuts. <laughs> three of these. Um, I should have known this. These are the heavy ones. They're made of metal. Oh, they're heavy. Normally, like the newer ones are plastic. So, so we've got gold, looks like bronze and silver. <laughs> yeah. So the reality is, um, the, I had three trophies. I spent ten bucks oh, on all of them. This one's actually bigger. Yeah, that one was on a bigger trophy. Oh, okay. The person messaged me. I listed them with the bases, which is stupid because who wants this? I mean, unless they want to put a new plaque on there. A lot of people 
will just buy the tops, the metal ones, especially and, old metal racing ones, karate yeah. ones, soccer. If they're the metal ones on top, people on the plastic. And that's and what the buyer actually said. They're like, thanks so much. I just need the beautiful toppers. Yeah, so they said they just they, send me the toppers. We had them listed like a hundred, but on sale, they said, I'll do 50 bucks. That's my best in the offer they sent me, but I just, just send the toppers save on shipping. I thought about it. I'm like, I'm going to count it. And I'm like, wait a second. How many people really are going to buy these? Not that many. I spent 10 and we only have to now ship. Because these, these just unscrew. I'll probably be able to get them into a regional A because probably. they're just little. And we're going to make 25 bucks on this deal if this thing ever spins off. But it they're does. in there like, <laughs> it's a pretty big screw in there. But they're cool. So So if you ever find vintage trophies. Just take the top. Some toss people the rest. <laughs> I mean, you look for comps. If someone's selling, I still can't get this thing off. It's still going. If you... <laughs> If you see some, some people might just sell the toppers. And if they're the hard metal ones, the heavy metal ones like this, I mean, it's got some weight to it. Someone might buy it. So, again, we'll just throw this away. We don't need this. And she'll ship those probably regional A. We'll make 25 bucks and happy to see them go. If you've been watching long enough where you saw me buy those trophies, another video, let me know in the comments. Then next up, we've got a set in this of uh, Kinex Mario Kart racetrack pieces um, from the ice set. And those set sold for 22 and a half shipped. Yeah. They're super light, so... It, it's not going to go first class, I don't think. Probably over a pound, but we'll maybe make five or six bucks on the track. But we also sold Blue, Blooper or whatever he was. Yeah, all those little Mario then, characters, that's what those We sold from. Shy Guy, we sold the Penguin. We Each the of those sold star. for ten bucks. Yeah, ten bucks for those three listings. That's thirty bucks in sales. Yeah. Now fifty-something with this, and I still have the two race cars to sell. So, there was a good idea. You could sell the whole set for about fifty shipped. But you can part it out and make more money. And people will buy the track to add to theirs. They'll buy a new race car to add to theirs. Or they'll buy those extra blooper figures or whatever to make well, their set better. you saw better. how little those are. They're easily lost. Yeah. So, so, I mean, you, you want to have a full set. I'm not saying with everything you want to do that. But you can buy stuff and part it out and make some money. So, look it up. Take take a chance on some stuff. We're Next. waiting on the one that Noah has for him to be done with it. So that... Uh, it did cost me... A, we bought him the Connects track. Two big sets. He wanted one year for The full ones. Found with the on, boxes. Bought them on eBay for about 200 ship for two huge sets. They're big. They're not, nothing near. Way bigger than what we have here. Yeah, they're huge. And when he's done with it, we will part it out. Yep. I will, I'm, they're going to part <laughs> the track out. Back. Yep. <laughs> All the little cool pieces. Because people do collect the Mario Connects, yeah, the big tracks. Definitely. Next up, we have a USPA powerlifting shirt. Brand um, new. It is, yeah, it's brand new, and it's actually original bag. Um, it is a small, and it sold for fourteen dollars. When we shipped. sold the powerlifting medals and the military stuff from our military buy, that just happened to be in there, and I listed it. It took a while to sell, but it finally sold. Yeah. Next up, we have a lot of six Optimus Pioneer and unmarked compact disc magazines. So there they are. Is so you put your CDs in there, and you put them in your. Um, little receiver or whatever. We have six of them. Some of them are, like I said, unmarked. Some say Pioneer Optimus, but the same style. These were, I think, like a, two bucks for all of them, and they sold for forty dollars shipped. You may remember this, babe. We one time I had a bunch of these, and I used to sell them in sets of ten. I bought like two hundred of them or a hundred of them. Lady wanted two dollars a piece, and I'm like, how much for all of them? And she's like, twenty bucks. I'm like, she must not be good at math. <laughs> but I'm like, are you sure? And she goes, yeah, just get them out of here. And we sold each set of 10 for like 50 or 60 bucks back then. And I sold through 10 sets. It was a very good deal. If you can find these in bulk, pick them up. You can sell them individually, but it's a little bit better if you have more because people will buy them. They'll stock them with all their discs so they can have their 40 disc change or whatever, that, whatever receives these to sell stuff. Next. Next up, we have a vintage um, Camp Magic Magic Mountain California t-shirt. This is an old one for it's sure. It's actually from the 80s. It's a single stitch. It's a size medium. And it's probably more like a small. Yeah, it's, it's tiny. It's a vintage medium. Like you look at the picture and that's like a little kid shirt. That but would not fit on me. No. It sold for $65 shipped. That oh, was, I was like, that wait, was, what? That what was are you waiting the, for? The, all the, in our neighborhood, this lady was moving and she had all these old shirts up there for a buck a piece. The vintage Wranglers and different stuff. I just grabbed them. They were kind of, they need to be washed. We got them cleaned. 65 bucks. Took a while to sell. We found that right person. And then... Well, it's been a trend in the last couple of weeks. We, we sold... keep selling vintage coffee. Yeah, we so we have this days ago. vintage Maxwell House unopened coffee can. We do put prop in the listing because we don't suggest that you eat that. Um, well, you don't really eat coffee. You drink it. But if you're eating it, you have other issues. But you shouldn't brew this. Which... Don't brew it. <laughs> and it looks like it's from the 80s. Um, and it sold for $32 shipped. 32 bucks. That came from all the dead stock stuff. So great deal. Happy to see it go. 
made quite a bit of money on, again, a bunch of dead stock coffee. I'm not saying all dead stock food is worth it, but there are prop houses that buy stuff for commercials or for videos or TVs or whatever it is. Sometimes they need it. We sold that toilet paper to the one person who sold these. Definitely might be worth it. And I'm sure people do collect the cans that are sealed. I'm sure there are people that do. Anything else? No. Actually, I think it's going to the person who bought the last one. That address looks really familiar. Well, maybe Linda will let me know, and if so, I'll put it in the comments if, or the, on the screen if they're the same buyer. So. Yeah. Happy to see that. It's taking out a lot of space on that one shelf of all of our dead stock stuff. But we got some more vintage coffee if you want some. <laughs> and we also have some vintage um, paper towels if someone needs them. We'd love to see those yeah. too. We've gotten rid of most of the toilet paper. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> that's all we got, guys. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.